So we're finally in Budapest. Gareth and me got here after a I don't know, 12 hour journey or something like that. Just because we had to drive here from Skopje and cross two country borders, basically going through Serbia. And we had a question about whether we had weed on us. Now we're finally here. As you can see, we're living in a palace right now. House tour coming soon. Uh, but for now, we're quickly gonna go out and explore some of the city. And then, I've already had a look online. There is this amazing cafe. I think it's pretty touristic, but that's okay because it's honestly so beautiful. It's called the New York Cafe. And I definitely want to go there because it's like a kind of like Renaissance palace, whatever. The food can be crap, I don't mind. I just really want to go in there and see the building because it's so beautiful. Let's hit the towel. <laughs> <laughs> Because not only do we love stroking our own doggies, but we also love stroking animals from other people. And we also love coffee, coffee, coffee. So we have the Cat Cafe Gallery to do both. to an ice rink in a second and then we're gonna go for some Indian food because 
that's Gareth's fave. I thought I was gonna give you like a quick house tour of this place because it's honestly amazing. It looks like a proper mansion in here, like I feel like Richie Rich. So I thought I'm gonna give you a quick uh, house tour. gonna do this? Yeah, why not? At least it's gonna fall over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you can watch me do some pirouettes if you like. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Film me. Yeah, it's once again gonna be the fucking star of the show. You can't, you can't suppress natural talent, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> So Gareth, what happened really, I have to be honest and genuine with the 20 people that watch this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> people want to know what's happening. Um, yeah, well, Lisa saw the children and got... <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. Because they were going to laugh at her if she fell on her bum. Which is very likely. Which was unlikely. Because it's happened before. And then she said she was cold. <laughs> and then she said she didn't want to do it. And then she made that noise like... Mm. And then we didn't do it. Remember which one's full, okay? <laughs> Ready? Keep your eyes on your glasses. Keep your eyes. Ready? Alright. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Today is a very special day for Gareth and me because... It's our wedding anniversary. No. <laughs> He-Man is coming to town. Yeah. Prüstchen. <laughs> It's like three o'clock in the afternoon and before there's no daylight left we're finally going to leave the house and we're going to walk to the hero square which is like 50 minutes away from us and then we're going to find a nice cafe to sit down again and um, have some goulash. Oh you're looking so fancy Mozart, good boy! Do you want some goulash? Do you want some goulash? We've just settled into Norbert's crystals and we're gonna have, well these two are gonna have a typically Hungarian platter and I'm gonna have a typical Hungarian drink called palinka, plum palinka and I'm gonna have uh, some vegan cheese because I'm healthy. Being champion. <laughs> Being champion. Das 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 Oh Gott. Das war echt. Das war nicht mal ein Drittel gerade. Was wollt ihr denn? <lacht> oh. I have my cake and eat it. 
it. about to approach the Matthias church and it's really beautiful. Basically it's oh, oh my god. god. And uh, seeing it makes me want to get into politics, to be honest. We're just on the way to the uh, infamous Margaret Island, which is on the left side of the bridge. And there's a little path down. Um, the island is on the middle of the river, which splits Buda and Pest into two halves. off to a just jazz bar called Jedermann. Yeah, I'm wearing my funky pants. And we're heading out now. <laughs> I think uh, I win the dinner wars, although we got some goulash going on here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Do it for the vlog, do it for the vlog. That's for the clicks go. It's fine. It's so cool to have a boss over here. I have a beer on my bread beer on my head. Get it up. Get it up. I'm gonna just put it on the side here, look. No, thank you. Quite nice, though, isn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs>
the uh, Jewish Quarter today and we actually had intended to eat at this really um, popular food place called Simpla, Simpla Kirti Motsi but dogs aren't allowed and we have put notes on base with us so we're now just in this Mexican joint and um, I'm not mad because <laughs> I'm going to have nachos and Corona and that makes me a very happy gal <laughs> As um, Sarah just pointed out, this uh, music goes really well with uh, this Second World War movie earning up there. <laughs> it's, it's, not it good? Too, it's not too bad. Sarah is sweating. <laughs> just the thought of it. <laughs> Crouch and fire, knife or death. Oh. My God! <laughs> We're going to the opera! <laughs> so we're just off to go to the ballet! <laughs> It's very exciting. Unfortunately though, the uh, National Opera is closed. The building is currently under restoration, I believe. But this is why we're heading to the Erkel Theatre, which is also meant to be really pretty. And we're going to watch the ballet of Jezeel. On the way to one of the infamous Hungarian baths. It's the one in the city park which has been recommended to us by various people and it looks really stunning from the outside. I can already see the steam. I'm actually really poorly so I think this uh, sauna wellness trip will do me wonders. Also Gareth and me literally just had the news that we're gonna get a flat in Germany which is so really it's such a relief because we'll be back in Germany in five weeks. I guess we're celebrating that a little bit tonight by going here and just you know treating our bodies to this lovely spa trip. <laughs> Not only is the interior really really lovely but also the facilities are so nice we've just been to a hundred degree sauna and we've also been in the thermal pool outdoors which is so cool like I mean we always complain about the fact that it's so cold in Budapest but actually coming here in winter is honestly so yeah, it's, nice it's a good idea because it's it's really warm in here it's like 28 degrees in the one outside there's just steam coming up everywhere yeah and you can't see like even you can't see the people swimming there because there's so much steam <laughs> Finally, they're serving these beers. Goes up. Till I'ma see what you got. 